start recording. <laughs> so, um, just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me today. Of course, it's Manny Monday. It's always Manny Monday. Uh, the time is always the same. It's always at one o'clock um, Eastern Standard Time. So whatever that is, you know, comparatively speaking to your time zone, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. Now, I, for the last several weeks, have done a ton of like neon nails, right? So we had done some different pigments and we've done some different artwork and it's been super fun. So this week I decided that I wanted to show you all how to do like those really cool neon signs, right? So there's all of these really, like you can go into, you know, uh, like those cool clubs or whatever, and you get these cool neon signs. And this looks super impressive, right? And it's not nearly as difficult as you would think it is. So I'm so excited to kind of share this with you guys so you can see how easy it is. And of course, you know me and I have an absolute love of cherries. When we do that one, um, I'm actually going to show you just two designs today. Um, we'll do the cherries and we're going to do the pineapples because how cute, right? And everyone will get to learn how to do this whole process. Um, but uh, I will kind of tell you all about my cherries and how much I love cherries. So uh, the first things first, okay, the first thing we always do is we always start with a good base, okay? So I like using Black Magic. Um, you can also use Black On from um, Accents. That is also excellent. So we're just gonna start with our black. Now this is, you have to use a very, very thin coat because it is so pigmented. You wanna make sure that you get this nice and thin. And hello to all of my friends. I saw Maribel, you joined in, Lynn is here. I'm so glad you guys are here. These, this nail design, I'm so excited to share it with you. Okay, so we have our black on. We'll go ahead and put that in our lamp. This is a 60 second cure in an LED light. So here we go. We'll do, I'm gonna do two of them today. So we'll just kind of go back and forth between the two nails. And once you learn the process of how to do this particular nail, your, your brains are just going to go like, oh my goodness, I know how to do this. Like, you know, you could do like the word love or, you know, like neon signs are so popular right now, right? Like so, so, so popular. Um, weddings, all, I mean, I have my pink wall behind me here in my little suite and I would love to have a neon sign behind me. <laughs> so maybe, maybe that's in the works down the road here. So give me just a second. It always feels like the longest 60, 60 seconds of your life, right? All right, three, two, one. All right, perfect. So we are going to do a second coat on this. So if you are joining me um, and you want to work right alongside me, please, by all means, do so. These are just, um, these nails are just full coverage tips. You can just buy them. Like I got mine, I think on Amazon, actually. A lot of people started purchasing nails like this during the pandemic because they started doing, um, they started doing uh, press on nails, things like that. So I just want to make sure that you all use these. So let me see here. I think my lamp might have just died. It did. How did that happen? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll grab another lamp. Hold tight. <laughs> what a funny thing. Well, it happens to the best of us, I think. Right, guys? Let's see if this is the same. Oh, oh my great goodness. Well, maybe my cord died. That's entirely possible. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> so for those of you that are just joining in, um, my LED light is, um, it's battery operated, it's rechargeable. And all of a sudden, it's not charging. It's not working anymore. So I grabbed another one. So hold tight. <laughs> I guess it's 
it's always good that I have a couple in, in stock, right? So forgive me for that. Um, for those of you that are also just joining, if you want to join in, just take a couple nails and paint them black. Um, you can use, you know, really any kind of black, but I like to use either black on from accents, or you can also use um, black magic, right? Magic, ma black magic. There we go. Oh my gosh, what an embarrassing thing. Okay, well, let me get my light back on. So sorry, everybody. All right, same, same. Okay, here is this one. Black, black, we'll get back to it. You know, day in the life of a nail tech, right? I'll have to see what happened. It might just be my cord wasn't plugged in all the way, but I didn't want to mess around with it. So here we go. Second coat of black and super thin coats. Now, I talked about this a little bit last week. When you're using gel polish, um, and this might be something more for like newbies if you're not familiar with it, but if you're using gel polish and it gets wrinkly, it means one of two things. Either the bottle hadn't been shaken well enough or you applied it too thick. So now we're able to make it, you know, just like, like I said, nice and thin. So we'll put this one in the lamp. Now this is, this next part is a little bit of, um, it's a little bit of a trick, okay? So we're going to use matte. So I'm gonna use Magic Matte. Now this is from Profiles Backstage. That's also where um, my black magic came from. So you get a little theme here, lots of magic. So we're using Magic Matte. And we will do one coat of matte. Once again, that will be a 60 second cure. Now, why do I use matte? Every time I do nail art, actually, I use matte before I uh, do my nail art. So a couple of things I've discovered with using matte. One is, you actually can leave the back of your nail completely matte, um, which looks awesome, or it gives you a nice um, surface that you can paint all of your nail art on, but then if you don't like it, it's you can take it right off or buff it. For example, um, earlier when I was doing some of the nails for today, I didn't like how I think it was, I don't know, one of my oranges came out or something. And I was able to take it and just kind of wipe it off. And that was wonderful for me because I could start over again. So, okay, so here's an example. Do you guys see this little wrinkle here? See that? Okay, so what that means is that this nail has not, this gel has not cured all the way through. Now, if this was on a client, I would definitely take it off because this is uncured product. But for today, for what we're using, I'm gonna go ahead and use it because the top is cured enough for us to use it for a little demonstration. But that is what you would look for if you saw that little wrinkle. So that's kind of helpful. Okay, so here's our mat. And don't try and like take the short way out and be like, here, I'll just put top coat on it. No one will know. That is where we start getting that, um, those allergies, the contact dermatitis, all that kind of stuff. That's what's starting to happen there. Okay. So here is our black matte nail. Now, this is the next part. So I have my little palette, always have my little palette. And we are going to take clear. I don't care what kind you can use. Actually, here, we'll do this one. We're going to use um, Accents Shine On, okay? And we're going to put that a little dollop on our palette. Okay. I use my palette all the time. I don't know if you guys do, but I definitely do. Okay. I am also going to use Frosting. This is a no wipe gel paint. Now you could use um, white on, you could use um, white magic, anything like that, any white, but I like this 
because it is so pigmented you cannot see through it and you want something that's non like you don't want it translucent at all you want it very very like I I guess um I was gonna say the word stiff but I can't think of the other word just forgive me guys my brain sometimes gets crazy but here you can see the viscosity of this <laughs> okay you can see it is nice and thick now this has been um it's been stirred I went ahead and stirred it earlier I'm going to take a little bit and put it out on my palette and you will see why here in just a minute now the first one we're going to do is our little pineapple okay this is where stuff starts to get really exciting so if you could do me a favor while you're hanging out here on your Manny Monday, if you could press share on your Facebook page or I'm um, watching this and share it to your mail groups, that would be so great because that keeps us going with this kind of education. Okay, so I have just a very simple brush. We are not going to hold it like a pencil. We're actually going to hold it perpendicular. So this is perpendicular up and down. Holding it this way is very good because it gives you the opportunity to see your bristles bend and you don't want a lot of pressure when you're using your bristles. Okay. Sorry about that black. Let me get that out of the way. All right. Okay. Here we go. So we're going to start with our pineapple and we're going to hold it perpendicular. And this is kind of like a little oval. Right. You see what I mean about watching your bristles bend? Okay, you saw that? Just barely see those bristles bending because you don't want it thick. You don't want thick lines. Now it's a little bit wobbly, but that's okay. We're gonna thin it out or smooth it out. So we're just using white. looks good. All right, perfect. We've got a little, little guy here. You can just smooth it out. This is, you know, you can practice your little smooth lines. Uh, this is one of those designs. You don't have to be perfect and I will show you why. All right, now we're going to do our little, our little like fringe at the top. Now, speaking of pineapples, um, here in Florida, you can grow pineapples. And I know you've probably all seen this all over, um, all kinds of, you know, Facebook, TikTok, everything like that. But you can actually just cut the top of a pineapple off and just shove it down in the dirt and it will start growing. Now it'll take, you know, a couple of years before you actually produce fruit, but they will, and they are a beautiful plant. So what we're painting now is, you know, the crown on top of that little, a little pineapple. We're going to start over here like this. Um, the tops are very pointy and sharp. I've always said that um, pineapple is like my spirit fruit because, you know, it's kind of spiny and round, but it has a crown on the top. It sits nice and tall. And also it has um, a nice juicy center. <laughs> like it's nice and sweet inside. That's really what I meant to say. <laughs> okay, now at this point you could do several different things, okay? You could just go like cross hatch across this way. You could do little squiggle marks this way. I preferred the little, um, little cross hatch but let's do a little squiggle marks, okay? So once again, kind of making it perpendicular like this. There we go, kind of little squiggles. Cute, cute. Makes me think of like Charlie Brown's shirt. Okay. And another one. Okay, so here's like a simple little pineapple, super cute. Let's cure this. And we're going to move on to our cherries, okay? Now, cherries. 
So I have a cherry necklace that I have worn for years, quite literally. It's the Swarovski cherries. Um, you've probably, if you go back in like my Facebook, you'll see, you'll see me. I wear it everywhere. I've, I've worn it for years and years and years and years. So we'll do a couple cherries. Now I like to do one kind of bigger and then one a little bit smaller kind of behind. So let's come here. Do a little cherry. And the brush I'm using right now is, it's just, um, it's a synthetic hair. So I like that a lot for little, um, for, uh, for artwork, especially with gel, okay? All right, and so this one's gonna kind of come behind this little guy. So do it like this, this is kind of like a fat little heart that didn't quite get the bottom of the heart. It's all circular, <laughs> but the top is kind of like a heart, okay? All right, like this, cute little cherries. Okay, and um, so then we also have our little stems we're gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna start up here and go down like this to our little stem, like that. And this little guy over here, we're gonna kind of, I know my thumb is in the way a little bit, sorry about that, kind of come up like this, okay? And let's add two little leaves. Now, one of the cool things about the neons is they're very simplified. It's not a lot of detail. So if you are not detail oriented, this is the kind of artwork that's right up your alley. Um, also, you know what? Let's add a tiny little shine mark. There we go. Shine mark right there for both of those little cherries, okay? So this is just like our hand painting, white, very simple. If you were to do that all by itself, it looks really cute, but we want to give it that shadowy look, right? So this is where we have our little drop. Pull it out here. We have our drop of shine on right here, okay? So I am going to take one drop of the white, quite literally, one drop, and we're going to mix it in there. We kind of want it to be like ghosty, thin, you know, and even that, let's see here, that should be okay. Now we're gonna do thin, thin, tracing around our artwork, okay? So we're gonna trace, and you know what? It's still not thin enough, so give me just a sec here. We'll just add a little bit more. I'll show you kind of the consistency and you'll see exactly why we want it so thin. So instead of, I'm not wasting anything, I'm actually just going to put more clear out here. There we go. We use quite a bit of that little guy. And we're gonna take what we already had here and we'll thin it out. There we go. Just kind of, kind of like a ghosty, We'll translate it. Now here's an excellent example of being able to wipe off what you just did because we did the mat on the back, okay? Super smart. So I'll take this kind of ghosty white and we're going to trace, okay? And you'll see you want it on the inside of each of your lines, the inside and the outside of each of your lines. That's where you get that glow effect when we do our, um, our pigments or we can do like jellies on top of that. So we're gonna do it on the inside and the outside of both, all of our lines actually here. All right, and then we'll do it on the inside as well. I just kind of go over our little little guys here. Now I know a lot of you are like, hey, I like these products. These are awesome. Where do I get them? So let me tell you where you can get them. Um, so in Canada, nailtechstore.ca 
They are um, a distributor of all different accents products as well as Profiles Backstage. There is also Profiles Backstage here in the United States. Um, but since a lot of people, I mean, you're coming from all over the world and I'm so appreciative of that. I love that I get to spend time with you guys on Mondays, um, but definitely check out nailtechstore.ca. And I don't know if you knew this, well, some of you did, but um, I actually work with a school in British Columbia that is a Mirage Spa Education. If you have not been to their website, you should definitely check it out. Um, that is miragespa.ca as well. If you ever had a desire to become a nail technician, definitely start there. Um, they offer a lot of different courses, but I would check it out because you're able to do so much um, from the comfort of your own home. Okay, so definitely a great place to check out. Okay, so you can see we highlighted everything with our little milky color. So let's put that over here. We'll let that cure. And we're going to do the exact same thing with our cherries. So remember inside of our lines and outside of our lines both. This is how we get that, that glow, that cool glow finish. And I know a lot of people, they work a lot on Mondays. I've been thinking, like, I wonder if I need to start moving these to Monday evenings, which I totally could do that because then you guys would probably be able to join in a little bit better. So that is definitely an option. Um, I will talk to Miss Cheryl about it. Oh, oh wait, talking about Miss Cheryl. Okay, let me tell you guys about MissCheryl.com. Okay, MissCheryl.com is a website that talks about Cheryl Tebow. She is the owner of Mirage Spa Education. She has written several books and she has a podcast and it's about all different kinds of people um, going in their walk of life. So um, you should definitely check out that website. Also from there, you can get a free ebook. So check out that free ebook. That's at misscheryl.com. So don't forget to check that out. And it's so funny that I say that because I literally call her Miss Cheryl. So, I love that. Okay, so you see, I'm just tracing this on the outside and on the inside of each of these lines. You can kind of see exactly what's getting ready to go down. We're almost done. I had so much fun creating these nails. And now I'm sure you're thinking, ooh, flamingos, martinis, all the different little signs, the neon signs you see. You could do one that says love or like a little princess, like you could do little neon signs for like gender reveals. Like that would be so cute, right? Okay, lots of cute stuff. Okay, so we, we did all of that milky, milky, milky. Kind of look it over, make sure everything has been covered. Oops, see, inside of this little guy and inside of this little guy. Okay, see it? All right, now we're going to cure this one. That one's already been cured. Okay, so now we get to move on to coloring our artwork. Once again, so glad I always have a palette. Now I've been kind of on a pigment kick. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. So several weeks now we've been using our pigments and what's so cool is we've been able to do so much with just the stacker, right? We did like our backgrounds are really pigmented. Last week we did some artwork that we made pigmented. Well, now we're actually going to mix gel polish, just clear gel polish with pigment. And that is how we are going to color our little neons, okay? So this is how you do it. Now you can use this one, which is of course Shine On. We're gonna use that one. And I'm gonna do two little droplets. So we'll do a drop there. We'll do a drop there because we're going to be doing yellow and we're going to be doing green. So I will open my yellow and you're going to take just a drop on your brush. 
and you are going to, you see this, all right? You just touch it and bring it back here and stir it all in. And you see there's a couple of chunks. Yeah, just work it out. Grab another little droplet. All right, I think that'll be enough. You don't want it to be, what you'll see is when you paint over that white, it makes a huge impact. Like it gets really bright, okay? So watch this. So we have our yellow, we dip it in here. Check this out. And you just go right over your line and your little ghosty line, your little, uh, your glow line. And it makes it look like it's glowing. One more here. And then make sure you get your little crosshatch marks here. All right, so cute. I know everybody's probably thinking like, oh my goodness, there's so many designs that you can do in your head now, right? So let's go ahead and grab our green. Same concept as before. Just touch your little brush to your clear and grab your green and then mix it in. And you can see this one has a lot of those little, um, it's like the pigments, little pigment beads. That's all right. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and cover over. Right. Okay, so we have not yet cured this, so now we're gonna use our green. We're gonna come across, do that. And you can see how the bright, bright white looks like that light, and then that shadowy looks like our little glow. Simple, right? But so exciting. Now, what's really cool about this, once we cure this, you don't have to put a top coat, top coat on it. And the reason why is because you've actually mixed your pigments with top coat, okay? You don't have to top coat it. So if you like the background being matte, you can leave it matte and then the rest will be shiny. Let's go ahead and cure that one. Okay, here's our cherries. We already have our green. We've already gotten green in our brush. So let's go ahead and use our green here. Okay. Right. And go down our little white line with our little ghosty shadow because you want that green ghosty look, that little glow. Super cute. I love this. I love this kind of, it's just super easy. Like I said, it doesn't require a lot of detail. You want it just to be something easy that you can do. You know, this is salon art, right? You need to be able to do it in and out very quickly. Now there's a couple different things that you could do for your red. You could actually take, you know, red gel polish, like a droplet of red gel polish. You could take red jelly, like if you have like a clear jelly, um, polish. You could use that gel polish. I am going to do the same thing with our top coat. Put another little doll up here. And I'm going to mix a couple little colors together. So we're going to touch it and they have this rock and pink because you can't really think about neon without rock and pink. So we'll do rock and pink. And I think I would like to add a little bit of purple. So let me grab my little purple. I always try to cover, like close these up right away as soon as I'm done using them. So, all right, here's our purple, so pretty. Um, we will grab just a drop of it, a little bit. Just thinking like it'd be kind of fun if it was magenta-y. The cherry. 
which cherries are in season right now. Santa has talking about how much I love cherries. I know this is like boring. I'm not trying to be boring to you guys, but I um, I completely renovated the inside of a 1996 Jayco pop-up trailer. And I did the entire inside. Um, I did the whole floor black and white. And so that looks super cute. And then the walls are all aqua and all of the decorations are red and white checkers with cherries. <laughs> so cute. Hello, Miss Valerie. I'm so glad you're here watching with us. I'm so appreciative of you guys taking a few minutes to be with us. Watch our little afternoon. All right, just a little bit more. And there would be no reason if you wanted to, you could totally come back through with your white, just plain white, and you could make that little shine line a little bit. It's hard to see sometimes. There we go. Okay. Our cute little cherries. This is cute. Oh, so cute. Love it. Tell me, guys. Tell me you love it. <laughs> you know you want to go and do like, Pop like little martinis and little flamingos. Okay, so let's go ahead and hear that. <laughs> okay, so remember what I had said that you've done the mat. Okay, so mat is done. Now this has all been mixed together with a top coat. So you don't have to top coat it again. You can keep the back mat, which then really makes this little guy pop. Or you can see this is what it looks like shiny. So one matte, one shiny. I like the crosshatch guy better than this one, don't you think? Yeah, totally. I didn't even let you listen. I didn't even let you answer. I just answered for you. So anyways, cute little design. And then of course we have our little cherries coming right out. Now I am going to top coat our cherries just so you can see the difference. And you can use accents shine on that's we've used a lot of our accent shine on today um we did all of our pigments um so our pigments they are profiles backstage as well so uh nailtechstore.ca that's where you can get all of this in canada or if it's easier for you to get shipping from canada please by all means definitely check out that website um or if you're in the us you can get them from profilesbackstage.com so here's our top coat. We'll top coat this one. I feel like I need to make like a really bright red. I'm going to have to work on that. But still, this is super cute. <laughs> so then we'll cure this for 60 seconds in our LED lamp and we are set to go. So that is our Nanny Monday. So I'll show everybody. Here's just a couple more ideas. So we did the pineapple. Here I did like lemon, orange, limes. Here's a strawberry. And then here's some cherries. So these are just a couple of the ideas. I just thought fruit. Everybody is so excited um, about fruit and I was excited. You know, lemons have been big and popular for a while. Now cherries are coming back really big. I think apples are going to be coming back, you know, all that kind of stuff. So anyways, this is where we're at. Please don't hesitate to take pictures of your work and send it to me. And also check out misscheryl.com and um, register for your free ebook. It's like 11 pages long, 12 pages long. And it talks about from setback to success. And then also um, the website I was talking about earlier, miragespa.ca, that is actually the school in British Columbia that I get to work with. It's such a privilege to work with them. So anyways, here is our last little guy. Ooh, that kind of does look purpley. Ooh, that would be cute with grapes, right? Anyways, so here we go. Here's all of our little guys. They're ready to go. So check all of that out, okay? And thank you so much for joining me for Manny Monday. Have a great week, everybody.